The most likely cause of transient rash is urticaria. In this Med Mastery lesson, you will learn strategies to recognize and treat this condition. Patients with urticaria present with wheels or hives, angioedema, known as swellings, or both. Urticaria can affect any side of the body and tends to be widely distributed. Uticarial hives can be colored white or red and may be surrounded by a red flare. These can be round or form giant patches. They are typically very itchy and move around within 6 to 12 hours. It is important to know that the redness surrounding hives in urticaria patients with darker skin may be more subtle. In these patients, hives will appear as swollen or raised bumps and will typically spread over a larger area of skin compared with what is observed on patients with light skin. Angioedema is a swelling of the skin or mucous membrane. The presence of angioedema in the mouth indicates a more urgent dermatological condition because the swelling may be obstructing the upper airway. And if a patient presents with angioedema in the mouth in the absence of hives, this may indicate life-threatening conditions such as hereditary or acquired angioedema. So they should immediately be given a systemic steroid, antihistamine, and sometimes even adrenaline. Urticaria can either be acute or chronic. In patients with acute urticaria, the hives are present for less than six weeks and typically resolve on their own. In those with the chronic form, hives are present for longer than six weeks. Chronic urticaria is often referred to as idiopathic, meaning the exact cause is unknown, but it is likely caused by an autoimmune mechanism. The most common form of chronic urticaria is urticaria factitia, which is characterized by redness and swelling following a minor stroke, rub, or scratch of the skin. The main treatment of all forms of urticaria in adults and children is an oral second-generation antihistamine. If the standard dose, for example, 10 mg for loratadine, is not effective, the dose can be increased up to fourfold, so to 40 mg of loratadine daily. Once the urticaria has settled down, treatment should be stopped. So remember, any widespread itchy rash that is transient or moves around within 6 to 12 hours should be considered urticaria until proven otherwise. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.